what... Go. He's mid, looking for triple, has the play, will land it. Triple flashes away from the death sentence, but that's a summon to burn in the mid lane. And Anasik now, with the priority mid, can come across, try and catch up Babbit. The blast cone will knock him back. Here we go. Triple on his way up as well. Babbit started the gromp. They're going for it. No man's going in. Only level five on Babbit, but Fudge, the Hemo play is going to connect. Boss underneath the tower, and Anasik the first target. Look at the damage onto Fudge. Babbit almost falls as well. He will go down his first blood. Triple coming in from the side as well, but Boss has to try and flash away down towards the bottom of the fight. Mammoth still chasing him down, looking for the one-for-one -one trade if they can get it. And in the end, Boss will fall. Fudge takes it one-for-one one in the top 17 line. CS lead for Boss. Let's take another look at this one. Fudge trapped under his uh, turret. Double wave coming in. No Man's is going to be the person, I believe, that picked up aggro. No, it was Anana Sick, and that's why the rotation had to come out so quickly. I think that's a little bit of a mistake at the start. Obviously, Vlad's very good at being able to reset that. The fact that No Man's grabbed the first blood is huge. Vlad scaling off the charts. A little bit of a strange flash here from Boss. Would have liked to see him just fall down. Not really ever going to escape from this. Yeah, sometimes you just and have actually to... sending four members down towards oh, his bottom lane. They're going for the fight first. Mammoth didn't realize the dredge line doesn't connect. Edward caught out. Here's the power as well. They're looking for Edward. And the damage coming down onto King as well. He flashes underneath the tower. Knock up on towards Ananasik. He almost falls, but Ananasik will take down Destiny King. Just about surviving, but No Man's gets it. It's three. Triple coming in. Can't get the damage down onto No Man's. Fudge didn't TP in. It's a slaughter in the bottom lane. And the unicorn stampede over Mammoth. Amazing for the Oceanic representatives. They were the ones to try and make the play, but you can see Destiny missing the hook, and Unicorn's ready to react. And you can see the exact moment where Mammoth knew that they had made the mistake. No Man's is just down here so quickly. They did not account for the mismatch numbers. Fudge, as you mentioned, decides to hold on to the teleport, which makes this decision even crazier. Flashing forward, the heel comes out to save No Man's and no kills going across for triple. Yeah, yeah. They would still be playing the map a lot better than Mammoth have been. Hook's gonna land here, that's onto King. The box coming down as well. King has a heal, but no flash. Teleport in by No Man's, and Destiny's on the wrong side of this. He hooks the wall, not the bush this time. He's gonna try and escape. Triple has joined the fight as well with his teleport. King fights Man for at least another item. You're going to have to get life cut, because King might be in trouble. Hook doesn't connect, but the paranoia comes in. Flash away, chase flash from Ananasik, and the spell shield to stop himself getting stunned up. That's impeccable stuff from the Unicorns Arbalove. Triple fighting boss in the mid lane as Fudge comes in with a teleport. This might be a moment for Fudge. Looking for the wall dive, jumps in, but Boss just so tanky. Hexagold have made him underneath the tower. There's no unleashed power here for Triple. Boss able to dodge around. Mammoth investing a lot into the mid lane. This is dangerous for Triple because the teleport comes in behind them. I mean, Fudge can get out, but where's Triple going to go? Scatter the weak knocks them back. Babbit trying to get here as well. Triple has the blast cone. Isn't going to use it. And I mean, Inex is just going to get closer to him. It's a pretty easy chase if Inex flashes in, and Kathian Rain is enough. Fudge gets out to the bottom side. And the re it just continues what? here. Destiny's just all the way in the enemy jungle. Inex jumps in with a killer instinct. That's just poor positioning for Mammoth. Unicorns for as long as you can. Five and a half thousand gold lead for Unicorns as they look for the engage. It's all on Triple. The hook connects. And goodbye, Triple. Inex goes on a killing spree, but it was methodical. It was step by step. This Fudge is actually a risky play. There is teleport available on Triple. Can he get in? Fudge is not coming up to this fight, though, and the hook connects onto Destiny. And Anasik low, but has the GA, and Destiny will pay for his face check with his life. Now, Babbit, pull you in again. They say, fight us, fight us now. Boss trying to get onto Fudge, trying to make this fight happen in the bottom lane so that Fudge can't join the fight. The Baron's still going on as the Unicorns of Love move the fight to two fronts. Now, Unicorns disengage. Fudge was being in. Baron de aggro Boss on the front line. Spear of Sojin. There's the paranoia onto the back line. The Zonyas comes out. This could be the fight for Mammoth if they can find it, but No Man's is on the back line. Inax is on a rampage, and No Man's just zones out four players from Mammoth. And find them here, but No Man's is just going to act as a bouncer. Destiny once again hooking into the bush. The Void Seeker is going to connect, and now 3,000 HP on the Baron. Babbit can't get anywhere near it. You have to think Mammoth give this one up. Baron goes down. No Man's next wave. Boss maybe a little bit pushed up here.
Yeah, that's the only weakness. He's a little bit too far forward. Fudge going to come in with a Hextech Old Ultimatum, and this might be the play for Mammoth. They're looking for the catch. Teleport coming in, hit by Nomad's Paranoia used as well. Boss pops the stopwatch just in time, and Nomad's is going to join the fate. The Glacial Prison doesn't connect. Boss still alive on the back. And look at Ananasik. He takes down the kill onto King. Nomad's doing as much work as he can in the middle of the fight as Ananasik still has the GA to come up. Inax jumps forward, yet to see a unicorn fall. Inax jumps in. Triple trying to survive, but pop he goes. The unicorns are dominant. The the unicorns are unstoppable and they are making their way to play in knockouts. Another clean team fight for the unicorns of love. They will look to push onto the Nexus. They will look to continue their run against Clutch. Incredible stuff here from the unicorns of love. At the third time of asking, they take down Mammoth and they will play Clutch for first seed in the group. A beautiful game plan, beautiful execution, and that will see Unicorns of Love continue their run. You can see the devastation on Triple's face. Oceanic thought, fans thought this could be the year, but at the final hurdle, again they fall. So close yet so far. The Unicorns had an impeccable performance. From minute two, they had control of the game. They played it methodically, they played it slowly, they knew exactly how every minute was going to go. They planned it out, and Mammoth just couldn't find the answer. And they flipped the script. You know, you were listening to what the analyst thought, you know, just take it late, play the team fight. They say, you know what? That's Mammoth's strength. We want to be able to play this macro heavy style. Edward was one of the best shot calling supports in the European LCS yeah. when he played over here. And this is a team that understands that if you are cleaning your setup, you remove options from the other team, and you're able to just continue to whittle away at that gold lead. It wasn't, you know, fancy League of Legends.